So whether beneath the sheets or on the dance floor, get that booty poppin', it's time to sweat some more. Yeah, yeah, sweat. Um, I actually wrote that song a year and a half ago. Today, what's today's date? July. It's July, July 9th. So, I actually wrote that song probably a, a, a little over a year and a half ago. And I actually wrote it to a different beat. I actually, um, one of my friends made the beat and um, produced the beat. And when I wrote that song, honestly, the kind of mindset I was in was more of a, I want, I want people to see what I see when I'm in the club. You know what I'm saying? I want people to feel what I feel when I'm in the club. Right. So I came out with Sweat because most of the time when you're dancing with a girl who's actually really been dancing, I'm not talking about those girls that just chill on the wall and try to look cute or the ones that walk around with their friends trying to get somebody to buy them a drink. I'm talking about the real chicks that have been dancing. When you get on them, they're sweating, period. That's all they're doing is sweat. You get sweat on you, you got sweat, and you're giving it back. Your t-shirt's sweating, guys are taking up their shirts and their white beaters, trying to look cool, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much where sweat came from. And when I wrote that song, actually my cousin Kel, because I really wasn't really too hyped on the song. The song was cool. Um, I wasn't too hyped on it, but my cousin Kel was like, dude, that's, that's it right there. So then I took it over to my boy Maddox's house and um, we came up with a different beat for it that had a little more bounce. Um, in, in Sweat, I actually say, no need for no Kanye West workout. That is not a diss to Kanye West. That is not a diss to Kanye West whatsoever. So Kanye, if you check this out on YouTube, MySpace or whatever, not a diss. I'm not dissing you. It was just catchy. I was sitting in my living room, writing, it came to me, if you notice in the song, I don't say anything else about you, that's not a diss, I actually respect you and the music that you make, um, one of my influences, so the whole thing with that was, it was sweat, and what, it was it three, four years when Kanye came out with the Kanye West workout, right. I actually happened to see the video while I was writing Sweat. And that's where it came to me where it was like, well, now that it's 2008, you, there's no longer, you don't need to do the Kanye West workout anymore. I'm really talking about a lot of people, they try to like, <laughs> they try to compensate for working out by going to dance, if you don't know that. So I'm really speaking to y'all when I'm like, okay, well then there's no need for no workout. Just on the dance floor, let the booty twerk out. That I don't know. Booty twerk is whatever you want it to mean. That's what it means. Make it the booty clap, dance, <laughs> shake it, money maker like Ludacris said. I don't know. That's on you. I'm actually working on three albums, which is funny because I just told you that I'm actually trying to get into film, but to tell my story, I mean actually to really connect because my whole thing is I'm not doing this for me. I've already came a long way, suffered, persevered, conquered, got over, whatever you want to say, multiple obstacles. My, my thing is to, this is my way of giving back. It's kind of like a blueprint like Jay-Z did of all those people who struggled and who don't believe in themselves, who feel like success is around the corner from them, but they can't reach it. That's what this is for. My story is to share with you guys as a testimony so that you guys understand that everything you're going through, you're not going through it alone, and that you, you're not suffering by yourself. Like you, Everything that you're going through is just building you up. And for me, that's kind of what my album is going to represent. The first one is Yellow Light, which is kind of like my first release. Like It's like, ah, I finally got over that hurdle of making an album. And then I'm going to follow you with a trilogy, which is Me of Yesterday, Me of Today, and Me of Tomorrow, which is going to tell you of who I was, who I am, and who I will be. So you go ahead and look out for those. And when's Yellow Light coming out? Um, well, what we were aiming for was, we were aiming for 
February 6th, which is my birthday. So if anybody wants to send me a present or anything, <laughs> go ahead and hook that up. Um, we were actually shooting for February 6th, but now because we're going to actually market sweat more, which you should go out and buy the demo, the disc, the single, check out the mixes. Shouts out to DJ D Rock and DJ D Menace, 949, 106 Cameo, all that good stuff. But what I'm really thinking is probably May, the end of May. It's going to be a spring. Um, um. So then we could probably re release Sweat again next year for you guys. Alright. <laughs> so you can dance to Sweat this year and next year, whatever. <laughs> Last chance to make your move Cause I can hear your body screaming from across the room